So today we're going to be talking about our game breaking unit Clara. Now Clara may not seem like much at the start but once you understand how she works and how to build her you're going to see that she does some nasty stuff. She's able to solo the simulated universe, she's able to clear a mob of waves super super easy, she does so much damage on turn and off turn, she's just the overall perfect kit. So today we're going to be talking about Clara and her best relics, light cones and teams that make her do so much damage put her whole kit in use and we're just going to be talking about the whole thing before we get into all that make sure to leave a sub and like on the video if you're enjoying the honkai star world content and also i do cover genshin and honkai impact content as well so if you do like those games make sure to sub for that but let's go ahead and start talking about clara and her skills because of course this is going to be one of the main things you want to talk about when in turn trying to figure out what she does so of course the basic attack isn't really anything just a regular tap of physical damage not really anything i can explain for the skill, you're going to be throwing out a volley of missiles, which does damage to the whole wave of enemies. Yes, the whole wave, not just the adjacent characters, the whole wave of enemies. And they actually do increase damage if you have Savarog's Mark on them. And how do you get Savarog's Mark? Well, that's actually going to come from the talent. The talent happens when Clara gets hit and Savarog is actually going to do a counter on them. Once they get hit with the counter, they're going to be hit with the mark that you want from the, for the skill. So that's how you do the extra damage. So this is really, really cool. Now this counter is super, super cool because it does do physical damage as well. It is able to break so many shields and same with the skill. The skill does so much damage, does so much physical damage. You're going to be breaking so many shields. It's just overall craziness when it comes to pairing up the skill with the mark and doing counters. Oh my God. And then also the ultimate is super nice as well. Once you use Clara's ultimate, you're going to get a damage reduction of 15% and you're also going to get a high chance of being attacked for two turns. So this is really, really good when it comes to playing into Savarog's counter. And also Savarog's counter also gets enhanced. Whenever you're using Savarog's counter while you're in your ultimate, you're actually going to be hitting the adjacent enemy as well as the person who hit you. So this is going to be really, really good in clearing out waves, really, really good in taking out a bunch of health from a lot of the enemies that are going to be hitting you. It's just overall some really nice things that the talent, ultimate, and skill play so much into harmony with each other and another thing that's really nice to know is that her traces do help her from being debuffed which is really really bad because if you get debuffed you won't be able to do her counter so you do have resistance to debuffs when it comes to crowd control resistance to debuffs period and you also have a savarox counter damage multiplier as well so of course we are going to be talking about the light cones in regards to clara and which ones that you should put on so let's go ahead and start talking about her best one which is her signature one which is something irreplaceable when you rock something irreplaceable, you're going to get an attack increase, you know, depending on the superimposition, but you are going to be getting an attack increase once you get hit by an enemy or once you defeat one, you're also going to be able to restore some HP immediately based on your attack. So this is some really, really cool stuff plays into her counter mechanic so well because you are going to get your HP back when you get hit. And then also at the same time, you're also going to get a damage increase as well at till the end of the turn. So this is really really good this does have a limit of one turn but you're gonna get it anyway back so this is 100 percent uptime so you don't gotta worry about that but also let's go ahead and start talking about the four star and three star options because i know a lot of people don't have the signature already so let's go ahead and start talking about some more relatable things the moles welcome you is a pretty nice four star light cone because whenever you do a basic attack skill or ultimate attack you're gonna get a stack of mischievous whenever you get a stack of mischievous you're gonna get a wearer's attack increase by 12 percent so this is really really good to have now there are some other ones that i'm about to show that are going to be a little conditional or need you to do have a turn limit on them and i don't really like conditional or turn limit stuff so i am going to be making warnings whenever we talk about them under the blue sky, we are going to have a turn limit on this, which is going to be increase the wearer's attack statically by 16%. And when the wearer defeats an enemy, your crit rate is actually going to be increasing by 12% for three turns. So this is really, really good. You want to make sure you're using this when you're fighting mobs, so this is not half bad. But if you're fighting a boss, this is not really going to be the best light cone in the world. Wolf Walk Time is a free to play card, and it's going to be increases the wearer's attack by 10%. And this one is the conditional one that I do not like. It also increases their damage to enemies afflicted with burn or bleed. So if you do play with the character that has has burn or bleed then this might be a really good light cone to have on clara a secret vow is by far one of the best four star options for sure because it's going to be increasing damage dealt by the wearer by 20 percent and then the wearer also deals an extra 20 percent of damage to enemies with a higher hp percentage than the wearer so because clara is going to be getting hit a lot of course she's not going to be at max hp so there is a great chance that you are going to be having this passive up all the time because clara does need to get hit for all of these different counters so you do might want to have the secret vow because it is just a really good light cone in all 
Now there are some three star options that we can use because I know a lot of people don't have either the four star options or the five star options. Now the only one I don't like out of the three three stars that we have available is the collapsing sky. The collapsing sky is only going to help you with basic attack and skill damage, so not really what you want. Now the other two are conditional. I really do like the mutual demise a lot more than the other. But the Shattered Home deals 20% increased damage to enemies whose HP is above 50%, so not bad. But the only problem is when they're below 50%, you're going to be losing that increased damage, so it kind of is no point. If you want something a lot better or something a lot more less conditional, I guess you could say, if the wearer's current HP is lower than 80%, crit rate is increased by 12%, and this is from Mutual Demise. I do think this is the better 3-star option for Clara. So if you do want to run Clara and you don't have any of these other things, Mutual Demise might be the best one for you. That is a 3-star. Now, when it comes to relics, you do want to run two different sets because, of course, you have the planar ornament and the relics itself. For the relics itself, you do want the champion of streetwise boxing and you want to stack as much attack and crit rate and crit damage as you possibly can because the two piece set is going to be increased physical damage by 10%. And then the four piece is going to be whenever you get hit or whenever you attack a character, you're actually going to be increasing your attack by 25% when you get the full stacks that you possibly need. And you definitely want to have this relic so yeah, you can increase Savarog's counters like crazy and also increase that skill damage as well. When it comes to the planar ornaments, you are going to want the inner Salsoto because not only is this going to be increasing the crit rate by 8%, but whenever your crit rate is above 50%, you are going to be getting a damage buff for your ultimate and your follow-up attack, so this is going to be really, really good for Clara. Now, when it comes to Clara's teams, we are going to be talking about a specific team, which is going to be absolutely amazing for her, which is going to be her, March 7th, possibly Natasha, and then whoever else you want to put as a DPS. I do think that there are a lot of units that can work with Clara because Clara is going to be taking all the hits. She's going to be your tank. She's going to be doing so much damage as a counter. She is basically just a free unit as your tank. Now, of course, she's not going to replace Japard, Fire MC, all these other shielders, but she is going to do a lot of damage in certain content like the Simulated Universe, Forgotten Hall. So she is overall an amazing character. Now, when it comes to having her as the main DPS, I guess you could say, you do want to make sure that you have March 7th on the team. This is because March 7th actually applies taunt to whoever she places the shield on. So if you have March 7th and you give the shield to Clara, you're going to be playing into Clara's counter mechanic very well with give her, giving her not only a shield increase, but she's also able to take that damage, not have to worry about it. She gets the taunt, which is going to play into her counter mechanic. It's just overall the best possible thing that you can put for Clara. Now, of course, if you do want to put a healer, which kind of don't need if you're going to be putting fat shields on Clara possibly, but you know, there are some chances that, you know, your Clara isn't going to be targeting, is going to be somebody else. You do want to put Natasha, Bailu, any of the other healers that you possibly want on the team. And then the last spot can be buffer, can be a DPS, anything to help out Clara because you are going to want March 7th, a healer, Clara, and then, you know, some dps or some type of debuffer so that you're able to give clara some more damage so that's pretty much it when it comes to clara and her kit basically she's just overall nasty you want to build her if you have her congratulations you have one of the most broken units in the game for sure and if you don't have her well hopefully you get her in the future because if they don't tone her down or they don't change something about her which i don't think they will she's going to stay broken for a very long time especially when it comes to physical damage and how many times these characters are able to skip turns or they're able to freeze your characters and they get you know put on top of the list you're going to be getting a lot of those counters in and especially with you know her damage reduction her damage boost her ultimate all this stuff that she has on her they're not gonna work you're not gonna have to worry about it she's just overall very strong character so with all that said thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end of the video leave a like and sub if you enjoyed the video or if it helped you in any way but in that thank you guys so much for watching see you on the next one and peace